Hello, this is Jill Scheidt, agronomy specialist with University of Missouri Extension, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to take tiller population counts in wheat. First thing you're going to want to do is go to a random spot in your field. You're going to do this in three to different random spots in your field. You're going to um, either pick out a random one foot square area or you're going to take 19 linear inches in order to get the population counts and 19 linear um, inches of your row is equal to one square foot. So um, the most accurate way to do this is to actually pull up all the plants and you're going to want to dig them all out of this area in order to properly get the tiller count. So once you've dug up your plants they'll look like this and um, this particular plant here you're going to want to take these uh, tiller population counts probably sometime mid-March all the way up into April and you're going to want to count the tillers so here's one tiller two tillers and three tillers and this here is the main shoot you're not going to count it you do not count the main shoot whenever taking tiller population counts if you get to 90 tillers per square foot or in 19 inches of row then you do not need to use a nitrogen fertilizer in order to help your wheat um, develop some more tillers. If you have about um, 80 or less tillers you're going to want to think about putting down a nitrogen fertilizer and if you have less than 70 you're definitely going to want to put down a nitrogen fertilizer if you have less than 70 tillers per square foot. And this is also an important time um, and stage in wheat because you need to protect it from weeds and also need to give it that extra nitrogen to grow because uh, this is the stage where the wheat does begin to develop its head and which also in turn makes up the yield. So um, your yield, your p yield potential is developed during this time. If you have 90 or more tillers per square foot, you do not want to put down a nitrogen fertilizer. If you put down a nitrogen fertilizer now, your wheat's going to grow too lush too quickly and it's going to be more prone to lodging and prone to disease. And if you do have 90 tillers per square foot, go ahead and wait until the jointing stage to go ahead and put on that nitrogen fertilizer. And the joint stage is whenever the, um, the wheat is done tillering and it develops its first joint. Um, so whenever you uh, run your fingers along the stem, the main stem of the wheat, when you feel a bump, that's the jointing stage. The first joint is the jointing stage and you do not want to apply nitrogen fertilizer until that time if you have 90 tillers or more per square foot right now because the jointing is the most uh, most profitable, profitable time and uh, most yield improvement time to, um, to go ahead and apply that nitrogen fertilizer. So again, Count your um, count 19 inches of linear foot or um, one foot square, and uh, get your tiller population counts. Dig out those wheat plants. Count all the tillers with um, two or three leaves or more, and do not count the main stem. And again, 90 tillers per square foot means you do not need to put on a nitrogen to, uh, fertilizer until the jointing stage. If you have less than 70 tillers per square foot, you're going to want to put on a nitrogen fertilizer in order to help your wheat develop some more tillers. Thank you.